Hi guys, this is Angela with Cali Mom Collects and today I have a box of jewelry to open up for you guys. This is the third box out of the four that I got from the Goodwill Blue Box. And the first two boxes, if you have not seen them, were really good. I'm very happy with them. So the next two did come in a separate box, um, shipped separately. So hopefully these are good as well. But let's just get right in and see. Ready? Ooh, lots of color. What is this? All right, we got a little peek. Let's dump it out and see what we've got in here. Not as many small little bits and pieces falling out of this box, but let's push it aside and see what we've got. Ooh, I'm gonna leave that there. Adjust my camera. Okay, that looks like glass. I'm not seeing any marks on the inside, but it looks really cool. I like it. Ooh, 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 ooh. <gasps> We've got some Millefiori bead. Oh, this is so cool. Totally vintage. This is a really cool necklace. Right off the bat, I'm really excited. Glass bead necklaces. If you have not dove into glass bead, vintage glass bead necklaces, especially like the Millefiori glass, the Venetian, and um, very valuable actually. They do really well at holding their value, actually probably better value now. This looks nice and nice condition. I'm not seeing any marks on it. Really nice big pendant. Cute. What's this? That's pretty. Vintage, the gold looks nice on this. It's like a braided wire and then the braided wire is forming a flower. So pretty. I really like this one. It's magnetic, so I don't think that it's gold. That's beautiful. Aw, family. 
this looks like origami owl yep origami owl let's look at the little charms you've got some crystals in there and a little girl yeah that's that's super cute Piece of a faux pearl necklace. Sarah Cove for Sarah Coventry. And this is acrylic beads. Pretty color, really pretty spring color. I like that. Okay, we've got the dyed howlite and the skull. The stretch on that looks good. Oh, this one might be tangled in. Oh yeah, that one's kind of a mess. Let's ignore that for a little bit. So, we've got this pink cordage with this shark, what looks like a shark tooth embedded in resin or some sort of acrylic. Okay, it's a hanger. I don't know what this was supposed to go to. I'm not seeing any other marks on it. It's not a bracelet, is it? No. Maybe charms or beads. Yep, okay. A lot of these, I'm seeing lots of little tags, probably from whatever Goodwill they started at. Ooh, that's a cool glass bead earring. We'll put that aside. Hmm, Let's see, Let's something come out easy. I don't sell these, that'll go into craft. I think there's going to be a little bit more tangles in this one. There's bulkier pieces. This is cute, this little flower necklace. I'm trying to get it undone. Hold on, maybe let's undo this one. There we go. All right. Friends and what looks like a little piece of toast or something. Okay. Cute silver tone flower necklace. And we've got a Liz Claiborne. Cute 3D flowers. Cute for spring coming up. Earring we'll put over there. Okay, right away I can see that we're missing one of the rhinestones here. I'm not seeing any brands on this. 
So that will go into craft. This is long, whatever this is. Okay. I think it's supposed to be tied. Acrylic bead, tie at the top to adjust. Vintage necklace. Whoa, look at this mess. Clips like that. Looks like a little artisan wire wrapped glass bead bracelet. Looks like there's a tarnish on there. It might be silver, but I'll check and let you guys know later. I can see right away that says Avon. to be in good condition. Little faux pearl necklace. Okay, this looks like a napkin ring made in India. Snowflake are monogrammed. Rubber bracelet. A little bell bracelet. Okay. Is this a watch fob? Now, okay, this symbol. Is this Pierre Cardin? Because the P and the C, I think so. Okay. It's kind of cool. Oh, geez. It's got a little bracelet, gold tone, looks to be wearing off a little bit. See, we've got a couple Alex and Ani bracelets in here. That one's a bird. Make a difference for kids. Liz Claiborne New York earrings, new, still on the card. I really want to see this little sand dollar necklace, but it's pretty wrapped in there. Whatever this is, is colorful and wild, and that looks super cool. Really cool carved glass beads in here. I want to get to that too. But it's going to take some work. This earring looks like it could be silver. I'll have to check on that later. Oh, that's 
an earring. It's a wild earring. Okay, put that with the earrings. What's gonna fall out of this? Another earring. Ugh. Do you guys think I'm gonna find any of the earring matches in any of these boxes? Okay, I'm starting to see that this is missing some of the pieces, so this will go into craft. Tree of Life pendant. Looks just like silver tone, but we will see. I will let you guys know. I'm going to try to hurry a little bit more just so I, I like to try to keep the videos under an hour but haven't been able to do that yet so ooh, this is cute got an art glass pendant Not seeing any marks. Little pink cat's eye beads and a really cute pendant. I want to get to this bright thing. Ooh, this is so cool. Got it. Look at this. Look at the colors in these lime greens and these hot pinks. Looks like maybe sterling silver. I'm gonna look at that closely, but let's look at these beads. Isn't this neat? Look at the flower. These almost look like they could be gemstone of some sort. I just, I'm seeing some, something on the inside. So I'll check that. I love it. Let me look at the clasp. It says 925 up here on the clasp. Probably be too tiny to see, but it does. Love this. I'm already happy with this box. That's a cool earring. Tangled in these necklaces. Cheese. Why is this not coming undone? All right, let's All right, I'm going to push that aside because that's kind of a mess. Ooh, I'm seeing something else really cool in here. We've got coral. Okay, this is cool. I actually have a couple of these listed right now. These are, these you can get a pretty penny for.
Let me look at that. Ooh, something. Got some beads. I'm not seeing any silver marks up at the top. But definitely looks like coral. That's a cool piece. That is a really cool piece. What is that? It's like a tag of some sort or a ornament or hmm. bobby pin. No, thank you. USA plastic necklace. Ooh, that looks cool. Some more cool earrings. I'm not going to get too excited yet. I haven't had luck with the earring matches yet. Whoa. Oh no, I think those green beads are coming off this really pretty necklace, which is a bummer. Okay, we've got E.L. Erica Lyons. Really, really pretty bright color, perfect for spring and summer. This necklace reminds me of candy and bubble gum. Cute tassel with all of these charms at the bottom. I really like this. One of the strands did come undone and that's where all of these little beads came from, but I will look to see if I can tie that off and salvage this cute necklace. Pretty sparkly little beads, long, long necklace, good for layering, or you could actually probably double this one up. That's what I would do, and then it would be really pretty. See? It's kind of like a champagne color. Cute little pendant. Looks like a lowercase a. It does say something there. Let me look. It says C N L A. Cute, dainty little piece. Oh, that's cute. BF Forever this is Alex Nani. Gold tone is really nice on that one. That's cute. I haven't seen one like that before. I don't often try to sell those just because there's so many. There's a lot of them in this lot. What is that? Snowboarding? Looks like snowboarding. Team US USA snowboarding. I was right. Do not know what that is. We will put it aside. Another little watch chain it looks like, but this one's not in really good condition. So many cute earrings.
We will actually see a pair of earrings right now and they are really nice. This kind of looks like citrine. And I'm going to look closely at those gold hooks because this looks like gemstone. I'm not seeing any marks on the hooks, but these are definitely some sort of gemstone. I will let you guys know on the screen what, what it is, but I like those. Dog drinking again. Is it the Star of David? Wood. Oh shoot, and, and it's broken. Really long. It's like an opalescent sheen on these acrylic beads. But that's that. Got a vintage. Kind of looks like a faux amber. No marks. The white tablecloth always ends up getting so dirty, but it looks nice on white, so I choose to do white. Little crystal, heart crystal pendant necklace. Not seeing any marks on it, but that is pretty. is a pretty mint color but you can see it's missing one of the stones no brand marks on it so this will go into craft oh another one of these and wait is it broken or is it no it's not broken okay I got one of these similar to this in the first box but the main little glass piece was broken. I just think that those are butterflies. By Gons? Hmm. Okay, there's that. Cool little vintage braided leather bracelet. Looks like it just needs to be tied off. Very boho. Energy 2013. Okay, hold on, I got kind of a mess. Let's refocus and organize. Okay. That's really big. Is that supposed to be a bracelet? Well, there's that. That's cute. Oh, gosh. I love the Halloween glass beads. But honestly, I would restring this, the elastic. See how it's dark? It, it's looking a little brittle to me. So, but this is super cute. 
And for anybody that knows how to restring beads, that would be a super easy fix. That is cute. I love the colors. I think I had some of these in the first box too. All right, where's my missing earrings? I think I had this earring. Do you guys remember this one? I don't know if it was in the first or second box, but I think that this is one of my missing earrings. I'm gonna put this aside. I'll wait till after to look. Got a cute little shell. Looks like it could be choker, close to choker, necklace. Very beach boho. And then this, this I'm bummed about because this reminds me of Moni's. This looks like a Moni's piece to me. So this also could be easily restrung. And that is a cool, chunky bracelet. Very reminiscent of Moni's. Okay, this is interesting. This has like a vintage, almost looks like egg yolk amber, but looks like some type of lucite or acrylic. Gold tone is not the best. Not seeing any marks, but there's that. Let's see what's in the plastic. What did I tell you guys that I Won some auctions off of Shop Goodwill. Now, Shop Goodwill and Goodwill Blue Box are two different things. So these, these boxes came from the Goodwill Blue Box, the ones that go on sale every Friday. But then also there's the Shop Goodwill and they're more auction style listings. And I won a few of those. Two of them are 50 pound boxes. So that's gonna be crazy. We would definitely have to break that up into a few. All right, now saran wrap. But I'm excited to get those in and share those with you guys. I'm ready to just rip it. I am. Oh, okay, that one came off. How come when I want saran wrap to stick, it never does? Oh, I just broke the, I just broke it. That's what I get for being impatient. It still doesn't want to come off. Oh, goodness. There's no marks on this. Nope, I'm not going to give up. Got it. So that'll be an easy hook it back on fix I'll do that later pretty little it's either actually looks like it could be rose quartz or glass little dainty necklace that took way too much of my time okay we're actually kind of getting down to we're getting through this box 
are these? One of those wrap bracelets for essential oils. I've seen these a time or two. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They normally come with little like felt, felt circles that you can put your essential oils on and then that has holes in it. So we've got a little essential oil wrap bracelet. That actual bracelet looks to be in good condition. It's an earring, but I'm not gonna save that aside because that is not in good condition. Did I have one of those? That looks kind of familiar. Put that aside. Another one of those bracelets. And, all right, this one does not look to be in good condition. We've got some of the little strands trying to come off, so that will go into craft. This doesn't look to be in very good condition either. That'll go into craft. Natasha got layers, pretty colors, looks like wood and acrylic beads. Okay, that first layer is tripping me out a little bit. It looks a little short. So I will measure that first one for sure. This looks interesting. Oh, how cute. It says Elvis. It's an Elvis guitar pick earring. Put that over there with the earrings. All right, let's look at this closely first. It looks like some of the Decoration is coming off. This is very vintage. It looks vintage 60s, 70s to me with these flowers. I still think it's a cool piece, even though some of the decoration is coming off. I like it. I actually like it. Got another one of these, USA. Got a vintage, what looks like wood bead. Looks like little pieces of wood. And then this, some sort of carved. Doesn't feel like stone, but it doesn't feel like wood. It's kind of cool. This one is brand new, U.S. Coast Guard. Okay. Now we've got a puka shell necklace. Now this is more of the traditional puka shell. Okay. Another piece of plastic. 
Oh, that wasn't that bad. That's cute. Jesus, and then the J is a candy cane. I really like that. But it does say something back there. Something.com. Is that orientaltrading.com? Well, there's that. Colorful little bangles. That's actually pretty with these turquoise colors. No marks on this one. Looks to be in good condition. I'm liking the spring summer colors in this box. Earring. I am starting to see a little bit of the fading, but I like this orange and kind of like a sherbet color. Wait, is this supposed to be, is that? No, no, okay. Mirrored backing. This is a pair already done. Hold on. Put those there. More of those. Okay, we've got little hoop with the crystal dangle. Let's look. I'm going to look closely at that. No, I don't see any marks, but those are cute. I like when they connect them. Lotus flower. Black and gold bangle. Okay, that's cool. Totally mid-century. Like it. Oh, there's a piece to that one necklace I put in craft. Okay, what is this? Kind of like rubbery beads, keychain, and then this is the end. Get supposed to clip. I don't know. Maybe somebody made that. I've got a little moon there either in really bad condition or it is tarnished. Let me look closely. I think it's just in really bad condition. I don't see any marks. Yeah, I don't know. It's not magnetic, but it doesn't look good. That was the one I was trying to get out earlier. It's being a pain in the neck. Okay, I got this one out. I'm 
I'm not seeing a clasp, so it's a pull over and looks like glass. First, I thought it was shell, but it feels like glass. It does kind of look like shell, though. The silver tone on this necklace is in good condition. This is not in good condition. This will go into craft. Looking for any marks? Nope. band in there. Let's see if I could get anything to fall out of this. If I have to push pause, I will. rubber bands. This cha-cha style necklace is causing problems. All the chains want to get stuck in it. Okay, got that undone. And I can see that it's a loft necklace. It has it's kind of cool. A little bit of discoloration on the clasp there. That's fun. These tags are okay. Memory wire necklace. Looks like an Avon tag. And it does look like where did I see it? Oh wait. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of the memory wire. They just never really seem to sit right. It'd have to be a perfect memory wire for me to sell it. So that I'm going to put in craft and those beads look a little not good. Is also a loft. This is a nice heavy piece. These are glass beads and then it has a silver ribbon kind of woven in and out of the, the beads. It's a long one. Long, 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 long. Probably could be doubled. Cute. We're getting down to it, and I think, I think I got, oops, didn't want to see this, oh. The little pendant came off, but. at 
this because the gold looks pretty nice on this. Okay, this is going to be hard for you guys to see, but there were some markings on this, and I can see a K. Looks like it might have had a 120 over here. Let me see if I can focus on it and... So I'm not going to be able to make that out because you can see that it's most of it's worn off, but I will test it. It's probably a gold plated. Piece. Ooh, okay. Super cute. Okay, I don't see any marks on the pendant, but I'm pretty sure that this necklace is a gold plated necklace. Down to the last, last couple bits. It's just one more necklace. Might be. Oh, yes, it is. It's another loft piece. Long. The bottom has multi-layers. Pretty colors. Feels like glass. Yep. Cute. Then this is it. And this is probably the other piece of that broken Faux pearl necklace. Craft. this earring that's causing the problem with this. Okay, I'm gonna push pause and try to get this undone. Okay, I finally got that untangled and it did take quite a while. So we have the one earring we have this really pretty rhinestone necklace. And then the, there were no marks, but at the end it has a little crystal. Oops. Yeah. And this one as well, this is a wide drop. One little crystal drop. And it also has a little crystal up here on the clasp. So these could even be worn together and probably be really cute. Layered. Yep. Alrighty, that is the end of this box. Let's pull back these single earrings. And I'm going to make matches and get back to you guys. And I'm going to go look in the last two single earring bags that I set aside and see if this one's in there. And maybe even possibly this one. I thought I think I remember this one. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is it. These are all single earrings. No matches in this box. Two of them are sterling silver and one of them is testing as gold. So I have one more box left and I'm gonna hold out hope for some of these singles. But the exciting news is, is in the very first box was the match to these. 
cute heart rhinestone open heart i mean open work dangle earrings silver tone looks good so we made one match and its match was in our very first box and then another match this was in the first box as well so i'm glad i held on to them these are a really pretty gold tone in stone here's our natural gemstone great condition so two matches we're going to hold on to these i'm going to go ahead and pull back my favorites and end this video okay guys here it is here are my favorites from this box Number one favorite of all is this necklace. I tested three parts of this necklace for sterling silver, the clasp, the, the wiring that's wrapping the beads, and the, the actual bead, and they all tested as sterling silver. These little pieces and these carved pieces are testing in the quartz so they're like some sort of raspberry quartz or something like that so this this is just such a cool piece and this is my favorite one in this box and this little bracelet tested as sterling silver so it's a little wire wrap sterling silver and glass bead and i love the the vintage acrylic necklaces and the cute halloween and the vintage Millefiori, the blue Millefiori, the gold plated, the coral, our lucky matches, this cute vintage brooch, and these earrings tested up by the topaz and the sapphire. So it was at the end of the topaz and the beginning of the sapphire emerald. And then these little ones down here are garnets and these are onyx. So these are really cool, cool earrings too. So yeah, I love this box. Um, not a ton of silver like the others, but some other really, really great pieces. I hope you guys enjoyed this time with me. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye. Oh, and there's if there's anything in this video that you would like, you can email me at callymomcollects4u at gmail.com. The prices that you see on the screen are my subscriber discounted prices. If they go to eBay, they are going to go a lot higher. And I charge $5 flat shipping, regardless if you buy one piece or 10, it's $5. So thank you again, guys. Bye.